I expected uh, to go in the first round, but I, honestly, other than that, I didn't really know. Um, I was, I know, I was, I was having a really good year at LSU, and we were still playing. We, you know, we had just won. I think the. Or we were about to play in the regional, and then, or no, we had won the regional. We were about to play in the super regional, and uh, LSU kind of put together a nice little thing for my family and the team um, in our team room, and, and that's where I heard my name called, and you know, obviously a day I'll never forget. And um, I remember my first thought was, I know nothing about Baltimore, so um, there's a lot I need to learn. It was honestly one of the most stressful days of my life. Um, a lot of times, yeah, I mean, you're kind of told you have an idea of where you might get drafted. I thought um, I was going to be a little earlier than I ended up getting drafted, um, to be honest. So it was kind of a stressful day looking back. I mean, I know most people probably would say that it was like, the best day ever. And, and it, after you get drafted, it's a huge relief. And, and it's what you work your whole life towards. But it, it can be stressful, especially if, if you know, you're a junior in college and you don't know whether to go back to school for one more year, finish your degree, or, um, or play professional baseball, which is what you've been trying to do your whole life. And, it, and it's tough, you know, leaving your friends in college and, and leaving that that whole life behind but um, yeah just kind of it, it took me a little while to decide what to do and I'm extremely extremely happy I, I, I decided to, to leave and come to the Orioles the draft was really a great experience for me um, you know kind of kind of being a nobody in college and going to a small school to to actually getting an opportunity and, and getting having a chance to get drafted and I remember in 08 they had it was like the first six rounds on the first day and then like the rest of the or then like the next whatever on the second day and I was drafting the sixth round so as the the, the rounds kept going I was like I had everybody there hoping I was going to go on the first day and I ended up getting pick, getting picked in the sixth round and so I got nervous there at the end when I was like uh oh everyone's gonna guys we're gonna have another party tomorrow because this didn't happen and then it ended up working out but yeah it was it's definitely a great experience you know it, it kind of all the hard work I feel like that's when it, it really you know obviously getting the big leagues is but but just getting the opportunity to get a chance to get to the big leagues is, is definitely the first is the first huge step in in this whole fun process I was hoping to get drafted but if not I was gonna go to school and so I mean it was I mean obviously my mom wanted me to go to school and I'd rather just keep playing baseball and not have to do the school part but I mean I'm still gonna get my degree one day but just don't know when I mean it was a great experience speaking of drafts I want to jog your memory here and go back to 1976 and the 11th round when you were drafted by the Houston Astros out of Arizona State. Right. I'm sure you, maybe you can remember it like it was yesterday because it's such a special day in your life. What do you remember about it? I remember I found out we were on the plane on our way to Omaha for the College World Series, and um, I, I was very elated because I had no expectations of being drafted. I was the third string first baseman. I was the sixth on the depth chart in the outfield. I coached first base. For my college team i pinch ran i pinch hit things like that so to be drafting the 11th round was pretty special and i saw it as an opportunity to try and make something of it